I would probably like to be a pro rodeo, barrel racer. Skiing, I don't think I'd become a, a pro skier because I'm just not that good. I guess you do lots of turns because barrel racing, you do the clover leaf pattern and you do lots of turns in skiing. So I guess, because I just say turn and burn, just skiing and barrel racing. When I got up there the first day, I know it was like there's a ton of kids. I remember going down the magic carpet and being nervous about that. I didn't want to be that one person who like didn't know how to do it compared to other people who have been doing it their whole life, who, whose parents go up and ski every day on the weekends. I pledge allegiance to the flag of I would say most of the kids in this school, which is a very rural school, don't know how to ski. For us to drive from Keating to Anthony is a good hour. Spending a whole day up there when they have other responsibilities is really tough. So the four-day school week um, at Baker happened due to financial things that were going across the state. Had to make some decisions on how to save but still provide a quality education. Even though my profession is in education, I truly believe that kids learn inside and outside of the classroom. Ranch kids, they're out working in the morning, they're out working in the evening, they go to school. There's not a lot of time to learn how to ski. A majority of the people here are involved in some sort of agricultural business, uh, whether or not it's raising cattle or selling hay. Agriculture is the main way that people make a living. Yeah, if you're outside already, you don't really want to go find something else cold to do. You know, you better find someplace warm. But of course, skiing's a little different. You're staying warm, you're moving around pretty good, I guess. But um, I wouldn't be interested in it, no. I don't want to come out of there on the backboard too bad. <laughs> no, <laughs> Scott could not ski. <laughs> He's more into motorized things, not self-motorized. I can't imagine not living on a ranch because I've been living on it forever. It'd be hard for me because then I wouldn't be able to ride horses, so I'd be like, oh, what do I know now? Because I wouldn't have any chores to do, except for like clean my room and stuff. Ella is my spitfire. She's a, my redhead. <laughs> Gave Mount Ella a little shot of Mountain Dew there and get her riled up so she'd talk good for, the, for you guys. What happens when Ella gets Mountain Dew in there? A whole Mountain Dew? Yeah. Yeah, watch out. To talk your ear off. Like, you like your hair to death? Huh? And blueberry. I've been living rodeo. I've been riding horses since I was like two years old. Katie is my mini me. <laughs> She's more reserved. She is um, finding her way in life as a high schooler. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do, but I'm definitely gonna have my herd of animals that I have right now and keep growing that. So I'll live out of town where I can have them, but I'm also gonna have another job, kind of like how my mom does it right now. Keating School is one of the last schools in the state of Oregon to be a two-room schoolhouse. I'm the Keating head teacher and principal. So when it comes to skiing, skiing is probably one of those foreign things to, to kids and the families out here. The only reason you would know how to ski is if somebody in your family has taught you to ski. The ski for the health of it is giving ranch kids or rural kids or just kids in Eastern Oregon because that program touches a lot of communities, the opportunities that maybe parents or past generations haven't had. It works really well because it gives kids an opportunity to get out of the house on Friday, be active, and go learn in the outdoors at Anthony Lakes. 
When I didn't ski, I was like, oh, I hope we have no snow this winter. And now it'll be like midsummer, and I'm gonna be like, I just can't wait for ski season. When my girls go skiing, I have noticed that they're more confident. So when you are putting your child on a bus at fourth grade for the first time, where they then have to go up to the ski hill and manage equipment and get to their lessons on time and make sure they're getting lunch and, and then get back on a bus so they can actually get home. So it builds that independence, builds that confidence. And then honestly, my girls are just, they're fantastic skiers. If we did get her to go on, on the lift, she'd be holding on to like everything. I think she finds it pretty unsafe. The chairlift at Anthony Lakes um, is, is like my nemesis, it's my adversary. I believe that the chairlift is the most um, frightening contraption ever. I, first of all, I'm not a fan of heights. Second of all, I've heard of people falling off of the chairlift. And uh, just the process of getting on the chairlift and getting off the chairlift and how many and my percentage of wipeout chances is high. Okay, Mom, it's ready. Okay. What are we doing? We're on our skis. Wait. <laughs> We're on our skis, okay? And here comes, it's our turn, so we go up. Okay. And wait till the next person's lift ride is through, and then you go up to the line. And he, when it comes, it will scoop you up, and it, you can hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and hopefully this all works well. Yeah, and then you, you go, and then you turn on. Even though you're nervous, just calm down and just do what you do. That's what I say, just do what you do. I think she can do it. She's a brave girl. I'm so excited that you talk about your horse while you're doing it. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be pretty fun to watch her ski down Broadway. Yeah, just to see her skiing. I feel like I'd probably leave her. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? It'd be kind of funny. Because everyone's like shredding and stuff. Their mom is going down the hill one mile per hour. I would be proud of her because she's seeing heights and she's getting out of her comfort zone. When I was going up the chairlift, I was honestly thinking, what am I doing? I must love my kids a lot because I'm doing this for my children. <laughs> and, and honestly, at the end, it was a good thing for me. It was one of my bucket list items. I've always wanted to ride the chairlift. 
Skiing with my kids at Anthony Lakes has proven to them and proven to myself that you're never too old to learn something new. I'm going to ski again. I can't say I'm going to ski well, but I am going to ski again. I'm not going to quit. On YouTube, I see people falling off a lot. I am a skier. Oh, well, it's just really fun when you get to like go over the snow and I just like it. It was a little scary the first time I went skiing. It's easy to steer and you get, it's fun when you go fast. It's fun to do tricks. Like whenever you stop, it looks cool whenever you turn. I can go as fast as I want. How fast do you go? Pretty fast. I want to be a pro s snowboarder when I grow up. I think I'm going to be a skier and a rancher when I grow up.